Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. I'm hosting a two-day Adobe Audition workshop near London at the end of October 2018. If you're interested, go to mrc.fm slash learn. I'd love to see you there. Now, recently I was in Amsterdam for the IBC show, met many amazing minds, including the wonderful Premier Gal, who shared with me her top three video editing tips. And now you're gonna get them. Tip number one, camera settings. Pick a camera, it could be a lower end camera. Actually what I'm shooting with right now and what I've been shooting with the past year on my channel is just a basic Canon M3. So that M series is the mirrorless camera series. So it's lightweight, it's easy to carry around at events like this. And um, it's pretty much like a DSLR, but it doesn't have the mirror in it, so it's less bulky. So when you're first turning it on and it has the video, what I recommend is to have the ISO, which is the sensitivity of the sensor inside of your camera, have that as low as possible, because the higher you get that, the more grainy your video is gonna look. So you want it to be around 800 to 1600 ISO max, I would say. Um, and then in terms of like your f-stop, obviously your f-number is your aperture. So the lower your aperture, the more blurry your background will be. But then it gets darker, so you need to make sure you have a light there. And then you'll also see this number that looks like a fraction. It's like one over a number, and that's shutter speed. And typically you want to shoot your shutter speed with video double the frame rate. So if you're shooting uh, 30 frames per second, you want it to be one over 60. And that's how you can have really great imagery for your video. Tip number two, selective color grading. If you don't get it perfect, that's okay. In the Lumetri color panel, you can really do some fine tuning to your imagery. So if it's a little bit overexposed in one area, you can actually reduce the saturation with the new uh, selective color grading tools. And then you can bring saturation back into that overexposed area. So you can lessen the Luma, which is brightness, and then you can bring in saturation. So one of the curves is called Luma versus Sat. What that means is you're able to bring saturation back into the Luma, which is the brightness areas of the image. And there's five of these, so there's a lot that I can get into. Tip number three, motion graphics templates. Inside of Premiere Pro, there's also motion graphics templates. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my channel on that, but basically, if you have, a, if you work with a motion designer, they can export it as a motion graphics template. You can import that into your essential graphics panel, make text updates, you can change the color of the background, add a drop shadow, but now you can change the font selection. They've integrated that into After Effects, so you have a lot more flexibility if you want to change the fonts, which was a huge bummer before, but now it's great. Thank you, Adobe, for integrating Fantastic. that. I highly recommend you go and check out Premier Gal's channel right now. Up your video editing game. Go over to youtube.com forward slash Premier Gal. I cover Premiere Pro. I cover After Effects. I've even done some audition. Uh, and I've done some video product reviews. So if you want to learn how to, you know, set up a live stream setup with your mirrorless camera or DSLR, I do lots of like setup style videos. Um, so you can pretty much find anything. Just go on my channel and then you can search any sort of topic that you're looking to learn around video and you'll find it. <laughs>